Okay, we set the shirt on the floor and kind of positioned it how it will be sitting on the uh, the main stick that's going horizontal. And then we position the arms at the angles we want to put the, uh, the arms. So now we're going to measure the sleeves uh, so we get some uh, measurements to cut the wood. Okay, we're going to measure this sleeve to be about 14 inches. And then all the way across to where the next bend will be it's about 38 and then where this bend is going to be here it's about 10 so we're going to cut some wood probably a little shorter so we can put a zip tie on here and then we'll be right back okay here's a uh picture of the uh, frame that we made for the uh, body and the arms and all we used was a piece of 2 by 3 and some 1 by 2 and put a screw right here in the middle so we can adjust the uh, the joint of the arms however we want to position them. So now we'll get the shirt on and uh, show you how that looks. Okay we uh, mounted the shoulder and arms onto a 8 foot 2x4. Uh, this is all just scrap wood I had laying around so nothing fancy here. Uh, but now we uh, mounted the shoulders probably about 6 inches below the top and uh, now we're going to put the shirt on and uh, start stuffing it. Okay we got the shirt on now and um, starting to look like a uh, scarecrow. There's the 2x4. So now we're going to get some uh, something to stuff it with. Don't really know what we're going to use yet. Probably some plastic bags from the store. Um, and then we'll uh, let you know what that looks like. Okay, we got the uh, shirt stuffed now. Uh, you could stuff it with anything you want. You could use hay. Uh, you could use plastic bags from the store. Uh, you could stuff newspapers inside of plastic bags. Uh, just whatever you want to stuff it with. Uh, something that will last outside if it gets wet. But um, we just use plastic bags. And uh, we put some tape on the bottom of the shirt around this uh, old piece of wood. Not sure if you can see that or not just to hold it closed and now we're gonna get the uh, the pants put on there we're gonna cut a hole in the bottom of the pants in the seat and uh, put them around there and use some string to uh, suspend them like overhauls uh, so we'll be right back okay all we did was uh, in the seat we just cut a square hole or any Nothing fancy, just a hole in the bottom for the 2x4 uh, to uh, come out of. So uh, now we'll get the pants on and show you what that looks like. Okay, we're back with, uh, we put the pants on and uh, we, you know, we cut the hole in the back on the, on the bottom uh, seat part, put it through the 2x4 and then we uh, got the shirt stuffed like we did before and then we got the uh, head that we bought from just a local box store like Walmart or Target it's about six bucks that was a really big head so it kind of fits this pretty good um, and then to hold the pants up we just did like uh, most people do just use some twine around the belt loops and put it over top of the uh, shoulders so now we're gonna put some uh, we also cut the top of the, you can't see this, but we top, cut the top of the 2x4 at an angle so the head is kind of looking down a little bit at us. Kind of looked better that way. So we did that. And now we're going to put some hay around his neck to cover up the 2x4. And we're going to put some more stuffing inside the shirt. We're probably going to put some hay in the, uh, for the hands as well. Just to have some hay sticking out of those. So um, we'll uh, be right back. Okay, we're back now. We uh, 
stood it back up and uh, we got the hay in here put some hay in the hands in the pockets um, around the neck so kind of uh, thought the hay looked a little scary we're going for kind of scary look here so kind of hard to say but we don't have the hat on it right now so uh, we're undecided if we want to do a hat or, uh, or not so we're gonna put the hat on and uh, let you see what it looks like with the hat so we'll be right back okay we're back and uh, now we got the hat on the head of the pumpkin so uh, that's what it looks like with the hat you saw what it looked like without the hat so why don't you leave a comment below and let us know what you think and uh, this about wraps this video up for how we make a scarecrow here in Maryland. See you all later.